Welcome back to the Mike Ferry Sales System and welcome back to Mike Ferry TV. It's not getting easier for you as we get towards the end of this. But I, I have to tell you, it's probably, we're in some of the most important steps in building a business. Remember back a few weeks ago when I said, if you look at the Mike Ferry Sales System, the first eight or 10 steps, managing your time, prospecting, handling past client centers of influence, obviously lead follow-up, pre-qualifying, listing presentation, showing presentation, handling objections, closing, negotiating, starting over at the beginning each day. You know, those are the foundation. The last eight or 10 weeks are how you take that foundation and become a superstar in this industry. The last 10 weeks, which are really the critical found foundation steps in building a big business. Everybody says, I want to be a superstar someday. The most common thing I hear at our superstar retreats, we have one coming up, by the way, next month. Are you going to be there? Miami Beach, Florida, on the beach in October. Pretty great place to visit. Hope you can join us. But now watch this. Mike, I want to be on the stage with you someday. I'm going to be a superstar. I want to be up there with you and me. I Wait a minute. It is not going to happen if you don't understand how to build a business. It's not going to happen. I don't care what your fantasy is or what your dream is or what you say your goal is until you build a strong foundation. What does the Mike Ferry sales system, what is the Mike Ferry organization, what does Mike Ferry offer that nobody in the industry offers? A system that is duplicatable and predictable for building a business. It's predictable and duplicatable for maintaining a business predictable and duplicatable for building a large scale, money earning, profitable business. It's the only one in the industry. I don't care what anybody tells you, this is the system. So let's look at the next phase called business systems. I wanna to read to you a series of thoughts. Number one, I wrote down, MFO offers you a very specific, predictable, duplicatable sales system. Dot, 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 are you using it? I think we're at a point now, we've been with each other enough over the last 20 weeks where you can start being honest with yourself. You can't talk back to the screen, so you can't be honest with me. And if you are talking back to the screen, you have another problem that I can't solve. But I will say this to you, and I'm, and I'm very clear on this. If you're not using what you're being taught, what's the point? Are you that complacent, that lazy, that unmotivated, that undedicated, that not non-service oriented? non-goal oriented, that apathetic, that you don't use anything. What are you sitting here for? Why are you watching this? Are you trying to kill 12, 15 minutes a week out of a 40 hour week? Are you so you can say to your friends, oh yeah, I'm, I'm watching Mike Ferry every week. Wait a minute, you gotta use the system. Watch, it's very predictable, it's very duplicatable, it's a sales system. So to make that happen, in terms of business systems, we have to become the masters of details if we expect to build a viable business. Details. In Jack Welsh's great books when he was chairman of GE, he kept talking about the fact that his greatest strength was details. All the people that ran all of his companies, their greatest strength had to be details. Watch, I, I am always looking for the details in my business. What are we doing right? What are we doing wrong? How do we improve that? It's the details that make a person great. And of course, I've always said this probably to you 50 times, since selling real estate is a big numbers game, big numbers require exact systems to follow to track. Once we've established our sales system, we can expect to support it by putting an administrative staff in place that helps us track the numbers. Administration doesn't mean that you have to have two assistants. Administration means, and we'll talk about it in a minute, a simple checklist. You take a listing, what are the seven, eight things that have to be done to make sure that listing is processed, sold, and hopefully soon pending. Checklists are part of what we do. Your system, I wrote down, creates business. When your systems are only in your head, they become the only asset you have. When you put your systems down on paper, they become an operating manual for what you do. If you ever come into the Mike Ferry organization, you'll see that everything we do is based upon systems, whether it be administration, accounting, HR, sales, coaching. We have systems for everything, why? Because the system creates the path for our great staff to follow so they can be of service to you. 
the system that you have for prospecting. How do you find the numbers? Who are you calling? How are you researching? Your system for lead follow-up. Your system for pre-qualifying. Your system for the pre-listing package. This is what creates your business for you. Not following the system is why your business breaks down. And then I wrote down, create checklists for everything. Simple. Now, if you're analytical, I don't want a 27-page checklist on listing property. What are the seven or eight steps from the time you take the listing to the time it sells that have to be followed? On the listing jacket you have, do you have that checklist stapled to it? Are you checking off and dating each step as you do it? See, checklists for everything. And of course, if you operate 100% by checklists, everything in your life becomes better. I, I wrote down the following. Checklists and systems take the stress out of the transaction and create a better environment for you, your buyers, and your sellers. See, a simple checklist creates the environment for them to operate and say, wow, at least I know what's going on. Can you imagine the title company and the mortgage company not having a checklist? It would be chaos all the time. Imagine going to your doctor and him not following a checklist or her not following a checklist and doing an, an, any type of appraisal of what's wrong with you. Imagine the pilot not using a checklist. Imagine the attorney not using a checklist. It, it wouldn't even, it'd never happen. So you want to constantly be improving your systems by A, asking your clients for feedback on your service, asking your staff if you have them to critique your service. The last part of what I want to talk about in working with systems, and you notice this is not going to be a long message like you've had in the past, is because nobody wants to hear it, is the fact that if, we go, if we're going to build a business system, we have to learn to delegate. We have to become masters of delegation. We've talked about it before. Delegate, the ability to give up responsibility, to give somebody else control, to put somebody else in charge, to be able to hand something off and walk away and go to the next activity. That's what delegation is. Delegate, to give up, to give to, to follow through later based on somebody else's business. The nice part about real estate, and you know this, here's the real estate transaction in the middle of the hand. Mortgage, escrow, title, attorneys, processors, you know, everybody works around that transaction. It's our ability to delegate so they can put systems in place on your transaction that allows you the time to go out and do more transactions. So my question for you is, how well do you delegate? Well, watch, business systems. Why is it last? or so close to the last. We only have one more tape, one more TV show in the Mike Ferry sales system. Why is this so near the end? Because nobody wants to hear it. And yet, if we started the Mike Ferry sales system with business systems, nobody would be watching this show today. Because you'd say to yourself, no, no, that's not me, that's for the rest of the realtors. Business systems are for you. Let's try following them. Put them in place. Create one simple checklist this week. Follow it for a couple weeks, then go to checklist number two. Next week, I've got a fun program designed for you. See you next week.